king, I am not a god, I am a king. Popetano and welcome in this video I will show you how to mod your Incarnon Furisa to take down level 9999 like you saw in the speedrun this weapon is awesome and really really powerful if you like it, the speedrun let me know in the comments below and hit the like button while you're at it and we started the build with the Incarnon Evolutions Evolution 1 headshots will fill the Incarnon meter and the hitting the button on the mouse wheel like you perform a heavy attack will activate the Incarnon form. Now, Evolution 2, increase base damage by 28. On hitting enemies affected by electricity status, it doesn't matter from where you get the electricity status, vault or modding a primary weapon with electricity. But in our case, I cooked for you something really cool and you will, um, sure, you will like it, guys. That you proc electricity without relying on any other weapons. That gives you plus 40% multi shot for 2 seconds stacks up to 3 times that's 120% multi shot you really need that okay now evolution 3 increase base magazine capacity by 25 evolution 4 elemental balance increase base status chance by 28% now all these evolutions that i chose they complete each other's and really really important and now for the modding starting with galvanized shot for status chance and on kill direct damage per statue type affecting the target you'll start now gathering the idea where this build is going galvanized diffusion for multi shot and 30% multi shot for 20 seconds stacks up to four times that's another 120% Orna Strike is additive damage since we're fighting Thrax and Thrax doesn't fall in any faction category, hopefully one day. But if you're fighting a specific faction, to increase just the damage, right? But this build, the way it is, even with the additive Orna Strike, can kill Corpus or Grunir, Infested or Thrax, whatever, alright? But if you want to increase the damage slightly against a certain faction, you put a multiplicative faction mod right there. If you don't want or you don't have it or you cannot afford it, it's okay. No river needed and no faction mod needed. You're good to go. Jolt, 60-60 electricity and statue chance. Pistol Pestilence, 60-60 toxin and statues. Lethal turret for multi-shot and fire rate. And Pistol uh, Elementalist, 90% statue damage. Or like for, for the heat, the slash, electricity, toxin, blast, and gas, and so on. So you said, Hank, how are we going to broke all of this? I mean, we don't have the weapon when I modded for this. Well, hold on, my friend. Now, prime the heated charge right here for heat. And then, because we have a lot of stuff in here and 120% uh, statues, and we're running low crit. We don't really need crit at all in here. Look at this. Secondary encumber. On statue effect, 24% chance to trigger a second random statue effect. My friend, you have no idea how powerful this is because the pistol uh, elementalist will be like getting the damage dealt by a slash, heat, electricity, toxin, blast and gas statue effect. Now we all know blast got reworked, right? So blast got blasty, like Pablo said. So when and you reach 10 stacks, or you kill an enemy with blast, that blast will chain react to all the enemies within 5 meter. Really powerful stuff, powerful stuff, my friend, and you will love it. And 
when I built this weapon and I show it on the stream, everyone was so excited. That's why I'm releasing it on Monday. I usually don't release videos on Monday. And now, for the companion, we're going to be running Wyrm Prime at 2. Tenacious Bond for critical damage. And then we got Negate to cleanse yourself from uh, any statue effect. If you're running Revenant, you don't really need it. And then Reinforced Bond for the 60% fire rate. And the other mods you're familiar with. Volklock build, there you go, for the uh, Vigilante set for your primary weapon. And now, as you saw, the weapon is modded for Corrosive. That leads us to the Warframe. So, we're running two Emerald Darkon Shards to reach 14 stacks of Corrosive to armor strip the enemy with Furis without relying on any Helmet ability like Thero Strike, Pillage or Terrify to armor strip, or any Fox School like your Nairu. But, if you don't like my method, it's really okay. So, I prepared for you this like picture, okay? Just like take a screenshot of it and save it on your PC. If you want to play around, I give you different option in there so we don't explain them all. It will take forever the video. Now, the other Archon charts, you can run whatever you want. The Helmet ability is Viral. So, we got Corrosive, we got Viral, we got uh, uh, the uh, Heat, and we got like it's really powerful stuff in here you will love this uh, okay now for revenant prime it doesn't matter really what matters here is the pistol uh, amp and the aura and arcane precision uh, for the damage and arcane velocity uh, critical hit 90 percent chance for 120 percent fire rate and the vigorous swap now if you plan on using different weapon i highly recommend you use the hoster amp instead of pistol amp but if you're gonna rely only on the uh, forest you're good to go uh, now the madurai before I tell you the Madurai, I'm using the Amp 177, so you get that clear. I did lately on live stream like almost 400 million <laughs> crit with that 177. 177 is a Roplek Prism from Cetus, uh, Proper Scaffold and Certus Brace from uh, the uh, Little Duck on uh, Fortuna. Now, Madurai, why? It's because I'm fighting a Thrax Centurion. If I'm not fighting Thrax Centurions, I would use whatever, like any, like, Fox school you really want. Now, Void Strike will deplete all my energy and give me 1000% damage. Right? Now, when my energy is depleted, the Eternal Onslaught will be active to give me 180% critical chance for my attacks. Also, the Eternal Eradicate for 60% damage. Now, if Void Strike is on cooldown, you got the Contamination Wave in here to make the enemies vulnerable by 50% to your Operator Void Damage. Simple as that. And now, let's test the weapon against some enemies. And now, of course, we're gonna test it against the Thrax Centurions. Now, remember, the Viral doesn't affect the Overguard, it affects only the HP, but it will cook the HP so when you take down the overguard they are ready to go now this weapon have a high fire rate and it's really powerful so you will have stacks of corrosive to armor strip them really really quick so they're gonna be armor strip proc viral and a lot of statues and blast and everything like you can imagine activating a nourish and check this out all right just like normal headshots look at that they're armor strip okay now look at all those statues effect now activating the encounter form you ready my friend take this out Right? Look at this. Now, tell me this is a not broken god mode furis. And who said you need crit? You're already doing yellow crits already in here. Check this out. Look. Look how powerful this is. Look how powerful this is. Very, very powerful. Now, activating uh, the um, first void strike. Now, I want you to pay attention here. Activate Void Strike. Boom. Check this out. 180% critical chance. And we got here the 60% and the 1000 Void Strike. And boom. Proper Scaffold. Or you can use the uh, Raplak. And there you go. 9 million and so on. And then here you go. Raplak. Bada boom. And easy as that. Uh, all right, boys. By this, we reached the end of the video. I want to say thank you so much, guys, for all your amazing support. Uh, and don't forget to like, subscribe. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you like the video and you find it helpful. Uh, if you do, Turn the bell on to get a notification when I release a video. Join our Discord in the description. And I see you guys next time. I am not a king. I am not a god. I am Humpty.